So lads, you guys saw in the video earlier, if you haven't, well there's no point even watching that video at this stage, because you, you'll be watching this one, but lads, I spent a lot of MT, like 530k for this guy. After spending 550 for this guy, it's been two bad weeks, two real bad weeks at this lock-in. And the only thing is, at least I locked in and I got Tyler Hans, bro, on my now money spent. Which is probably just gonna die as a series, but still, either way. You've got Vince Carter. We've got Vince right here, 97 three ball, 99 driving dunk, 97 ball handle, 91 block, 94 steal, 97 perimeter defense, 98 speed, speed ball, 97 speed ball, 95 acceleration, 96 lateral. 6'6 six, six with a 6'9 wingspan though, which is a little bit off, which is a little bit not great. Aerial Wizard, Fast Switch, Fearless Finisher, Post Riser, Agent 3's Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Dead Eye, Limitless Range, Slippery Off Ball, Ankle Breaker. So he's got a lot of the badges, like Interceptor, Clamps. And just as far as defense goes, he's got a Movable Enforcer, 94 feet, Right Stick Ripper, and Fast Feet. So he's got all the defensive badges. It's just, it's not that he's bad, it's just the alternatives. Like, if, even if we're looking at a wing, he's the worst wing. You're looking at maybe the best power forward in the game. Top three at worst and a top three center in the game. Between him and Emeka Okafor for the um, for who the two worst cards were. And we got one of them. We got one of them in Vince Carter. And oh my god. Did we just have a whole... Like, I actually don't think I might use Vortex cards just because of how disturbing that is going into the game. Do you guys not see that? Do you guys see that there? That's just disturbing. I'm sorry, that's just disturbing. Like, I didn't mind it until someone pointed out it looked like something from Aliens. And then I was like, oh yeah, it probably is. That's what it looks like. So Vince, his jumper's good. Odd zone's everywhere. And that's the thing is like, he won't miss. And that's the good thing about Vince Carter is that he legitimately just will not miss. Got the CP3 um, has he right there, the Jason Kidd one. Um, he'll hit the jump shots. Like when he, if he's left open, he's never gonna miss. And that's the one thing that everyone has always liked about Vince Carter. It's not even really his dunking because Vince Carter doesn't move that well. And regardless of dribbling, it's just it's again as I said in my Pokeshevsky video, it's just something about the player build. Is that Vince is never that fast in this game. Like in 2K, Vince just never feels like he should. And it's been like that all the way back to 2K16. Like, I can't remember the last time there was like an elite Vince Carter card. Like, obviously, like things like the, what's his name, Dunktober Vince Carter from 2K22 was elite for his time. But just at the end of the year, whenever we had endgame Vince Carters, people weren't too happy about it. And that was the thing with endgames, it was all about player build, how players just naturally moved. Vince Carter was never up there as one of the good ones. Not the greatest half court behind the back, but still though, he's gonna be good. Like Vince Carter is a really, really good player. Do I think he's better than like Poku with Pink Diamond? Probably not. You'll see later. I'm mobile on this video first, but like my god, the Poku gameplay was ridiculous. Either way though, Vince, I'd be. I'm not not happy about this car, but I'm also not saying he's anything spectacular. So we green to three. Now let's get on to the old game. Let's get on to the game. So I much prefer playing TT out of clutch time. Um, I just feel like you can kind of see more of what a player does. And especially for first time using a card, because first time using a card, card's never gonna look good. Like there's nobody that's really going to, like we're gone, gone long gone are the days where, um, I was about to say long gone days where like gameplay videos are gameplay videos, but not Henry's still kind of killing it with them. But like player reviews, first impression videos, blame me, blame Ty. It really is just a case of trying to see what a card could do, and sometimes you're just gonna play badly with a card. And that's okay. That's okay. Like sometimes you're not always gonna play really well with a card every game. So we're playing against a very tough lineup here, and he's gonna be matching up to... Okay, he's gonna match up to Randall, which is a bit easier than matching up to Jason Kidd. Like, I'd be very, very worried if I came up against Kidd, but Randall's not the worst person to come up against. 
Even though Randall's stats are pretty decent. That's a tough shot. Oh, he left me open. Stop. And green that one. There we go, Vince. Imagine if this was the game where I went 7-7 seven seven from 3. Terrible shot. Free board. Let's go, Vince. Uh, screw it. We can stop from there. Why not? That's green. That is the one thing. He is the best wide open. He is probably the best wide open shooter in the game. Like, Vince just always has that. The release may not be the quickest. It may not be the best three hunting release in the game. But it's always going to be one of the easiest to green. Like, I've pulled from deep... From very deep one at a time. So I pulled from a little bit deep once. Very deep the other time. Uh, why not? Oh, God, I'm jumping. I try. I genuinely tried to dunk meter that one. During the step back. It's fine. He's not going to hit that. This guy's got no game. Shoot it. I don't care. Like, Marcus is all. You can shoot whatever you want. When I'm standing under the basket until you prove to me, you can hit a shot with Marcus. Because you got to have some skill to green with him. Why would you foul with two seconds left when you have the help defender under the basket? Oh, so dumb. So, so dumb. Sometimes this game is just... Thank God he shot quickly there. Oh, stop. There's no way, right? You got to contest, but like, you know what? Not the worst thing in the world to shoot. Um, he stinks. Got him. And it's another green three there from Vince Carter. Let's go. Ah, that's my fault. Stand in the, stand in the paint. Hands up. Ooh, not a heavy. A heavy, I guess. A heavy, I guess. Okay, maybe I'm... Um... All right. Okay, Vince. He just doesn't miss. He just actually doesn't miss. Oh, I finally missed a shot that I could have probably hit. He's currently off balling right now. Screw it. Just dunk with Vince. We're not shooting with anybody else. Have we scored with someone else yet in this game? No. We're one man arming him with Vince. That's what we're doing. That's a brick. There's <sighs> no need to fail right there. There was absolutely no need to fail. Saw that ball was like at your feet, and you decide not to grab it. His it, he doesn't miss that. Really, he's is actually ridiculous. He does not have long arms or isn't good on defense either, though. That is that's definitely an issue. The, sh the small, the short arms is not great in this game. Just pull. Come on, just shoot the ball. He's dribbling at the shot clock. No, he got it off in time. Run, let's get the Vince. That should be green again, which it is. Vince Carter has now got his sharp takeover. Or not sharp takeover, slashing takeover. And we have got, is that slasher takeover? I thought the one that looked like someone using a shake weight was Slasher Takeover. Oh, I could be wrong. And we shoot from almost the halfway line and we green. All right. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm wrong. Vince is uh, Vince a joke. I guess I'm completely, completely wrong with that. Um, that diagnosis of him being... You know what? I'm actually not. He's not as good as Scotty. He's not as good as... 
as Ricky Davis, but yeah, they're all good. They're all good, lads. <laughs>